where brain eating amoeba infection claims are life in Kerala's Alapuza district. From swimming, dunking your head, or in, in, ingesting water into your nose. A person in Kerala's Alapuza district has tragically died due to a rare infection caused by Nigleria foleri, commonly known as the brain eating amoeba. This microscopic organism found in warm freshwater environments can enter the body through the nose and cause a severe brain infection known as primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. While infections are extremely rare, they can have devastating impact on individuals. Nigleria foleri is a single called organism that is too small to be seen with the naked eye. It is found in warm, freshwater environments such as lakes, hot springs and poorly maintained swimming pools. The amoeba can enter the body through the nose, travel to the brain and cause a deadly infection called primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. PAM is very rare but it is also always fatal. There is no cure for PAM and treatment is aimed at relieving symptoms and supporting the body's immune system. To prevent infection with Nigleria foleri, it is important to avoid swimming in warm, freshwater environments that may be contaminated with the amoeba. You should also avoid putting your head under water in these environments. If you must swim in a warm, freshwater environment, it is important to use a nose clip to keep water out of your nose. If you think you may have been exposed to Nigleria foleri, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. Early diagnosis and treatment may improve your chances of survival. Spread in the human body the primary route of acquiring Nigleria foleri is through the nasal passage and mouth while engaging in activities such as swimming, diving or using contaminated water for religious rituals. Once inside the body, the amoeba migrates through the olfactory nerve to the brain resulting in severe inflammation and destruction of brain tissue. It is important to note that Nigleria foleri infection does not spread from person to person. While the human body is generally vulnerable to Nigleria foleri, infections remain extremely rare. Certain factors such as a weakened immune system, a history of nasal or sinus issues or activities involving exposure to warm, fresh water can increase an individual's susceptibility to infection. Symptoms and Prognosis Symptoms of Nigleria foleri infection typically manifest within a week of exposure and may include severe headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, stiff neck, confusion, seizures and hallucinations. Unfortunately, the infection progresses rapidly and can lead to coma and death. The chances of survival are significantly low. The recent case in Kerala's Alapoza district is a tragic reminder of the potential risks associated with Nigleria foleri infection. This infection is caused by a brain-eating amoeba that can be found in warm, freshwater environments. It can enter the body through the nose when people swim or wade in contaminated water. Once inside the nose, the amoeba travels to the brain and can cause a severe and often fatal infection. There is no known cure for Nigleria foleri infection, so prevention is key. People can reduce their risk of infection by avoiding warm, fresh water environments with a history of contamination, using nose plugs during water-related activities and showering after swimming in any fresh water. Please don't forget to like or share or follow for regular updates. Also, please leave a comment to let us know how do you feel about this information. Moreover, please tag your friend or relative whom you think may relate to this post. For more such updates, please subscribe to your Air News channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon for immediate notification whenever new video is uploaded. How does Nigleria foleri infection primarily enter the human body? A. Through ingestion of contaminated water B. Through contact with infected animals C. Through the skin during swimming in fresh water D. Through inhalation of contaminated air